Hey there, everybody. This is CP Cards and Dice, and uh, welcome to our all-day payoff pitch tabletop Cards and Dice TV marathon. Now, this is one of the books I'm reading, recommended to me by RJ, and uh, the bad, um, the bad guys won. So it's a, a great book by uh, Jeff Perlman, and it's all about the '86 Mets. Season of brawling, boozing, bimbo chasing, championship baseball with straw, Doc, Mookie, Nails, the kid, and the rest of the 86 Mets. The rowdiest team ever to put on a New York uniform, and maybe the best. They did have it all. It was a mini dynasty for about six or seven years. Had a great team. Uh, it was uh, Frank Cashman who came over, signed a contract with the Mets, and started rebuilding. So uh, in the early 80s. And it all paid off later on. So um, we're going to get started here. It's going to be a, a game that we're tracking errors for 10 games. Now I'm in a new stadium, just so we don't just play in one stadium. We play two games at uh, Shea Stadium. We're going to play two games at Bush Stadium. We'll keep on on and on like that, different stadiums. Mets have to basically make an error in every stadium. Or over 10 games, they have to make at least nine errors. And this is just a mini sample size. So this is not going to give us any information. It may tell us, hey, listen, we need to look and we need to track this a little bit more. So let's start off. It's going to be Mark Bradley. Now, this is a, a, a June 28th doubleheader. Mark Bradley, center fielder. Yubi Brooks batting second and third base. And it's uh, and, I, and, I, and as I go, I put in the, the, the data. So center fielder, he's a D5-9. Uh, Brooks, third baseman. Batting second, batting third is Keith Hernandez. So the Mets have a few, a couple, well, a couple new players. They have Junior Ortiz and Keith Hernandez. And they moved Dave Kingman to right field, and I guess he's playing probably a little bit of left field. So Keith Hernandez is a B range. And uh, error-wise, Keith Hernandez is going to be a three error-wise. George Foster is batting cleanup, the left fielder. And he is a C four, six arm. And in right field is Dave Kingman. He's an F5-7. No, no matter where you put Kingman, he doesn't do a very good job. Foster's run rating is only a five, so we made it a six by accident. Um, Kingman's run rating is a four, so they, they, they Mets don't run very well. That's one of the issues that hurts them. They, they don't score a lot of runs. Because they don't run very well. So uh, shortstop, Baylor is a D3. And he's a shortstop, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Brian Giles, a C3. Junior Ortiz. And he's a C3-3. Three, three. Average, your average guy is about a three-arm. Re throwing off. And then it's, of course, Tom Gorman is starting for the Mets. He was 1 and 4 with a 4.93 ERA and 49 innings pitched. Started four games. This happens to be one of them. And Gorman's going to be a, a B5. Hold rating is a 9. We don't have that. Uh, we can put that here. Uh, hold a 9. And uh, very short fatigue. So he'll get pulled early. And that's pretty much it. By accident, we, 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 we marked these cards. Thank goodness I used the PDFs because I marked it by accident. So a little accent there. So anyway, let's get started. We're going to roll for Bradley. Let us quickly uh, shuffle some cards. Shuffle them all in here. All right. And we will, there we go, we're ready to roll. And it's Mark, we will start the first part of the game, uh, pulling cards just very quickly. Dave LaPointe is on the mound. He's a left-hander. He was 12-9 and nine with 395 ERA. That's a 7 off LaPointe. That's a tough pitch. And Bradley with a 78. And he pops it up into shallow center. Right there is Willie McGee makes the out. 
Erie Brooks is next, an eight in play. In play, 74. And that's Chop the second. Tommy Herr throws out Huey Brooks. And it's Keith Hernandez, six, tough. Welcome addition. And to the and he's 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 receiving some some uh negative feedback here. Some loud booing is going on against Keith Hernandez. This is gonna have an effect on him. If you read the book I'm reading by Perlman. Jeff Perlman, he was uh, he was very very disappointed and very hurt by the reception he got in a, in a from a team that he had played almost ten years with, an organization he had been with been with since he began. That's a ninety four, and that's going to be a fly ball right field, and that's going to retire the side. So it was a uh, a six, which is a tough a ninety four takes us to ninety four, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for the Mets. So I wanted to do that first inning. I wanted to do that first inning uh, on cards. So you see how easy it's done. It goes by very fast. It actually goes faster than bite with dice. And uh, so I did half an inning. Now it's going to be Tommy Hurt reading off. It's a four ballpark, a 56 ballpark. It's low here at Bush Stadium. Errors are very high. Range and errors are very high. Range is 85. So Tommy Hurt with a ballpark. 56 is going to be in play. We're going to roll in play. And a 61 in play versus another lefty, Tom Borman. So we've got two lefties. That'll make it easier to remember. So that's ground to third baseman Brooks. One away. Hope everybody's doing well. Willie McGee. It's a 7-42. That's going to be a base hit. So McGee's on with a single. He's going to try to steal. Get third nice stolen bases. Gets a six. Nope, does not do that. So David Green's going to hit and run. There he goes. McGee at 12, and that's defense. Defense 0 6. Now, with a hit and run, a defensive call. So I guess defense is defense. All right, so uh, we have a 0-6. It's going to be some sort of thing here. It's going to be a range, second base, base hit. Runner goes to third, first and third. So it's a range base hit, and with uh, McGee on the run, um, it's first and third now with one out against Tom Gorman. So infield is going to be uh, back. They're going to let a run score. It's very bottom of the first inning. Long way to go. Let's see if we get a double play. Let's see if we, ballpark 67. George Hendrick, again too high. It's one to 42 here, and we can do that, right? We can write that on that one. One to 42, and then left-handed batters. It's one to 34. So uh, we're looking at uh, in play, and a 96 is a fly ball left field. Now, this may be a sacrifice fly here. Let's see. Got to play deep fly, short fly. So it's too short, two out. And it's Floyd Rayford. Floyd Rayford versus lefty. Um, Bat at 234. Here's the pitch from Gorman. It's a 10 at patient, 0 6, ball four. So Rayford walks, and that loads the bases. So early in the first inning, Tom Gorman is in trouble. Glenn Brummer. The catcher, C24, and I guess four is not a very good throwing arm. So Mets can run on him. Um, and roll. Here's the pitch. He batted 409 versus righties, but 231 versus lefties. That's a five in play, 82. And that's going to be an out. Fly ball center field. Over is Bradley. Makes the catch and that retires the side. No runs, two hits. They leave three out of the second. And we're going to pull some cards. Dave LaPointe at 10 is a patient, a patient 63, and that is an out. That's a fly ball right field, one away. A four is a ballpark, ballpark 54. Again, that's too high. And it's a 40 is in play. 
And that is grounded at first. First base and Henry covering for Hernandez takes the makes the play. So he's the one who's replaced uh, Hendrick replaced Hernandez at first base. Hernandez is not happy leaving the Cardinals. Three. That's in play. In play 72. And that's a ground ball second base. And right there is her. Throws him out. And that retires the side. Three up, three down. I like to mix it up. Keeps uh, keeps my game alive. Tom Gorman, 10. Patient. Patient 82. Patient 82 is a fly ball center field. Over is Bradley. Makes the catch on Andy Vance like. Ozzie Smith. Ozzie Smith versus lefty's back 220. That's a nine or a tough. Tough 86. Chop the second. Giles throws him out. Two down. LaPointe. LaPointe's a five pitcher hitting card. Six. Tough. Tough 56. Strike three. Three up, three down. No runs. No hits. Top of the third. Brian Giles. Three is in play. Ten base hit for Giles. He's on with a single. Oh, actually, it's going to be, he's going to try for two. And the throw from the center field, they're not in time. So it's a double. Lead off double. For Brian Giles, surprised everybody. Ortiz now. That's a three in play, 41 in play, 41. Let's just double check on that. Yep. And an in play, 41. It's be a ground ball to the first to the pitcher. And we are going to uh, let's see if he's a real fast runner, he can he'll move up. Uh, Giles. Is a seven, so he's going to go third on this. And we will err on the side of aggressiveness. So it's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. Gets off the mound quickly. Only one play, and that's the first. So run it to third here on eight. The eighth place batter moved him to third. And now it's the pitcher. Tom Borman was a heck of a hitter. He's in 11. And that's an eight in play, in play 51. And that is a – it feels going to be in here. Ground ball to the third base. So let's see what happens. Ground ball infield in. If base are not loaded, 2D6 is less than six. It's an eight. Okay, so then we go to the next one. If total eight or more, see below. So I guess we got to roll again. We'll pull, pull a card on this one. It's going to be a 10, and ball sneaks past the drawn in infield run scores. RBI single for the pitcher, Tommy Gorman. 1 0. And Gorman picks up an RBI here. Let's lead it. Mark Bradley with one out. Here's a pitch of zero. Uh, it's a, a 10. A 10 is a patient. Zero two is ball four. Bradley walks. Pushes Gorman to second, first and second one out. One nothing Mets. Here's Huey Brooks. Oh, and Mike's tower goes flying. That tower has got a tendency to fly. There's nothing to hook it. I wish there was something to hook it on there. That's a five. Patient, a patient 54. And that's going to be a comebacker. This may turn into a double play, and it's going to be a one, six, three. And the Cardinal defense turns it. One run on two hits and a walk. They leave. They leave one. And the Mets lead it after two and a half by one nothing. All right, Tommy Hurt leading it off. That's a six, a tough, a tough 59. Ground to third, Huey Brooks. Fires it to first. One away to get her. Willie McGee. Seven is in play. 77. Round to short. Baylor. From the dirt, scooped out by Hernandez. Nice play by Hernandez. Save Baylor an error. David Green, a six. Tough. Tough 50. 
base hit for David Green. Two out single. David Green's going to try to steal. Had 34 stolen bases, a six. And he gets it. There it goes. And he is out. Great throw by Junior Ortiz. And they get, it's going to be a 2 4 caught stealing. And they get David Green. No runs, one hit, none left. Keith Hernandez leading off the top of the fourth. That's a niner tough, a tough 52, and that is grounded at first base. Hendrick is going to flip it to LaPointe covering. So it's going to be ground ball 3-1. I throw those in in there. It's about 25% of the time. That should happen 25% of the time. Not many games include that. It's an in-play 70. Chop the second. Charged by her. Two out. And now it's Kingman. Kingman ground around his first at bat. It's a six. It's a tough old one. Strike three. And that retires the side three up, three down. So we're moving and grooving in this game. Moving along at a steady pace. George Hendrick. That's a four ballpark. 61. Going to be in play. In play, 0-4. Base hit. That's going to split the outfielders. Hendricks is going to try for two. Here's a throw. Not in time. Lead off double. George Hendricks is second base. Bottom of the fourth. One nothing Mets. Pitch to Floyd. Rayford. That's an eight. Tough. Tough pitch. 37. Strike three. Big strikeout for Gorman there. One out now. Glenn Brummer. Seven is in play. 21. Base hit. Runners being waved around. Throw to the plate. Not in time. Game is tied. RBI single by Brummer. He's on it first. He'll try to steal. Doesn't get it. And he bent slight or try to get the lead, not really try to steal. Niner is a tough, a tough 20. It's a strikeout. Andy Van Slight. Down swinging. Ozzie Smith, switch hitter. Bang from the right side. That's a four. Four is ballpark. 15. That's. Versus left-handed pitcher, 128. That's a deep drive. <laughs> That's a base hit. And let's see if he goes to third. He does. So Brummer advances to third, first to third. And it's the pitcher, LaPointe. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Doing doubleheader, all-day marathon, 10 games. We're tracking errors. Here it goes. Tom Gorman, eight. Eight is a tough, 50. Strike three. Strikes out LaPointe. And he did strike out the side, although he did give up a run and three hits. Sandwiched in there. It's a triple decker. All right. Bob Baylor leading it off. Going to play this with cards. So it goes very fast when you play with cards. Six. And that's a tough, tough pitch. 56. And that's a ground third base. Third baseman is uh, Floyd Rayford. Let's make some space so I can write. There you go. One up, one down. Baylor grounds out. Giles is next. That's a five. Patient. Patient zero four is ball four. So Giles is on at first. He's going to try to steal. See if we got a low number. We do not. Junior Ortiz is next. A four ballpark. A 43, a righty. Oh, just one over. So that's in play. In play 30. It's going to be a wild pitch. That is going to move. Giles. Here we go again. LaPointe. 11. Patient. Patient 65. And let me see. Let me make sure I look in the right place on Junior Ortiz. Let me see. Hold on a second. It was uh, it was a 5. It was patient. Patient 30. Yeah, it doesn't matter for what side it was. 30 is 30. Okay. All right. So I did right. Um, Junior Ortiz. Let's check where I was. Um, 11. That's a patient on Junior Ortiz. And we roll a six patient, 65. And that's going to be a ground ball second base. Nine won't be a double play. So it's going to be uh, – well, actually, there's no double plays to run on second. So – the 65 
to ground ball second base. That's going to move Giles over. So he moves over on the eighth place batter. So Tommy here throws over to first. And now it's the pitcher. Good good hitter, Tom Borman. He's already got an RBI single, seven. That's a tough, tough 43. And that should be an out, strikeout. And that retires the side. So uh, no runs. One left. No hits in that inning. Go bottom of the fifth. Using the Digi Dugout scorecard. I wish these numbers were a little bit bigger. Those on top, really tiny. You can barely see them. There's plenty. You could, I mean, there's plenty of space left on top of the page. Holy smokes, they're tiny. All right, that's what she said. All right, here it goes. Um, that's a reference from the office. I've been watching that a lot. That's the main jo going joke all the time. I was saying that. All right, Tommy Her, here goes. That's a 12 defense, defense 56. Let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be a range center field. And a 56, we're looking at uh, center field. There's a D range. A D range is 1 to 75. So that's a base hit of some kind. And it's going to go in there for a double, so leadoff double. Mark Bradley doesn't get a good jump on that ball, drops in there. And Hurd's going to try for two, throw a second, not in time. So Hurd's with leadoff double. Willie McGee. Here's a pitch as a seven in play. They play 95. And that is a fly ball right field. Now we may let her advance. We're going to pull a card. And if it's really, really low, he, he advances. I'm not even going to look. But it's to right field. So right field is usually, okay, it's a 10. So uh, I'll tell you right now, he's going to change his mind. He's not going to attempt it. And um, and I'll double check. The arm goes up to seven. And his running, Tommy here is running. I didn't write that in, but let me write it in. He's a, a, a five run. So below the five would be an advance. He doesn't advance. Above the seven would be an out. But I don't. Play, I only play 11 and 12s out. That's my home rule. That way I have more opportunities to try because otherwise I'll never try. If it's going to be so many opportunities for an out, I'll never try. So uh, I like to try and just say, okay, he held up, didn't advance. I'd rather have that. Um, that way there's more movement on the bases and it keeps it more exciting. Willie McGee. So that was a fly ball to right field. And Kingman, who's a seven arm, basically they decide they're not going to run on Kingman's arm. All right. David Green. That's a five in play, 42. And that is a base hit. Will her come around to score? And he does. They're waving him around, throw to the plate, and not in time. It's an RBI for David Green. Two to one. Two to one, Cardinals. George Hendrick. Gorman, 11. And 11 is patient at 10. Base on balls, first and second. So we're on the verge of pulling, pulling our boy Gorman. Rayford, Floyd Rayford, here's a pitch. One no out only. It's an 11, a patient again, and a 98. It's a fly ball to left field. I don't try the advances on left field. You could, on a deep fly, you could say minus two or something like that. It's a deep fly, you could say minus two. You could roll for like a one or a two or say something simple like that. It's a seven. So he does not go. He's two, he's safe. 11 or 12, he's out. Keep it simple. You could say that that ball was a fly ball into, like, left center field, uh, deep uh, uh, left center field, that sort of thing. So it's not going to happen very often. All right. And Glenn Brummer. And that's, again, a defense, a 10. Let's see if it's a range or an error. It's going to be an error on the shortstop. And this is going to be an error on Baylor for sure. Is it a one or a two base error? It's going to be a one base error. So a little ground ball to Baylor, and he bobbles it. Throw to second, not in time. Bases are loaded. So that's the error we were looking for for the Mets. We need at least one per game. So that's an E6. Bases loaded, two outs. That very low number got, got the error to happen. No matter what he would have been, he would automatically get that error. That's why I didn't have to even look. I didn't have to bother to look. All right, Andy Van Slyke is up. He's a uh, fly down, struck out. 
It's a five. The five is in play. 96 is an in play out. Fly to right. Shallow right. Kingman over. And makes the catch. That retires the side. But they pick up one run on one, two hits, a walk, and an error. They leave the bases loaded. And we go to the top of the inning. Two to one, Cardinals. Bradley. Five is a patient. 46 is a base hit. Little ground ball and through into center field. Brooks. Got hit and run with Brooks. Say three is in play. 74. And that keeps us out of the double play. Ground ball, second base. But, of course, it runs the risk of line drives and automatic out. Oh, uh, Keith Hernandez. Runner on second base. And yeah, I'll put that there. Runner second place. There. And that, too, just means that he advanced on the ground ball by a, sec by a second place batter. That's an eight in play. 53. In play, 53. And it's not going to do it. And that is a ground ball to first base. And that's an automatic advance. That's like a 90% advance, so there's no reason he should advance on that. And um, and George Foster now. Take from the point. A three in play, 0 6. And that's going to be a ball that's pulled down the line into the right, left field corner, excuse me. And that's going to score Bradley. So the game is tied. RBI double for George Foster. Big RBI man in my replays for the Mets. And Dave Kingman. Dave Kingman with a nine. A tough, a tough 67. And that's ground a second. Tommy Hurt throws him out. One run, two hits. They lead one. And we go to the bottom of the six. Score is 2-2. Two -two. So we've got a good ball game going here. Game is moving very quickly. What helps it move a little bit faster also is when I, I inject innings where I'm pulling cards. That makes it move a little bit faster. It breaks up. Keeps the brain awake, alert. Ozzie Smith. On an eight, that's a tough, tough 71. That's a grounder to short. Baylor. Oh, just gets Smith by half a step. Smith flies down that line. It's a, gym, a, a gymnast. LaPointe with a six, a tough, a tough 51. It's a strikeout. And now it's top of the order. Gorman against Tommy Her. Four is ballpark, 74. That's in play. 31 in play. Let's see what we get. It's a base hit for Tommy Hurt. That's the second hit of the game. That's a single. He's going to try to steal. And a nine won't do it. Willie McGee on a nine is a tough, a tough 40. And that is a strikeout. Retires the side. No runs, one hit. Innings with the cards are way faster. But they're not, you know, don't get their total randomness. So you can throw one in there every so often. And even a game. I mean, even if I played the whole game, the cards would make a difference. But if you want to, you know, if you're playing a lot of games, it may give you, and you're not shuffling enough, it's not good. You may get a lot of, got a lot of repeat results. On um, top of the seventh, Bob Baylor moving it off against LaPointe. LaPointe can go five, or rather six. But neither pitcher is allowed more than two runs. So both pitchers can go very – this is a, a doubleheader game. So this is uh, – these guys are just like kind of spot starters. So that's a six, a tough tough 49 off of Bob Baylor. That's ground in the first baseman. One away. Baylor grounds out for the third time. Brian Giles, he's uh, doubled one for one with a walk. So he's uh, – four is ballpark, zero, zero. That's going to be defense. Defense is going to say range. So we're going to roll for range, and it's a 61. So it could be a range on who on the center fielder. It's a D range. That's going to be a base hit. Uh, no, wait. Center fielder is a, he's a C range. So that is 1 to 64. So it is going to be a base hit. It's going to be a double. Ball's in there, and Giles is going to hustle, and he's going to make it to second base. So a miscue, uh, kind of mental error by the center fielder McGee. That's a ball that he thought he'd get to drop in there. And it was retrieved by the left fielder behind him. This allowed Giles to make it to second base. So no error, but kind of a misplay. And it's going to be Junior Ortiz now. 
Here's LaPointe. And a seven, a tough, a tough 27, strike three, and Ortiz down on the curveball. Curveball totally fooled Ortiz, fell off the table. And it's Tom Gorman, the pitcher. Now, in this situation, we are going to pinch hit. Not a big guy, pinch hitter guy, but in this case, we are going to pinch hit. We're going to bring in Tucker Ashford. I'm sure he's with the team. Um... And I should check it. Let me let me uh, try to check it here real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's move to that the uh, ten games. Let me see. It's gonna take a couple of seconds to get to. I'm in May 22nd. I gotta go to May 28th. I want to see who the met right-handed uh, pinch hitters were. Because since I got a new couple new players, I'm not too too sure if they kept Ashford on the roster. And I like to use players on the roster. Or I'll, I'll avoid using guys that have questions about because I'm not using my uh, sim engines. My sim engines usually, usually track it for me. But I'm not doing that. I'm doing kind of one-offs right here, right now. And I'm up to May 26th. I still got to go a couple more uh, games. And now I'm uh, Saturday, May 28th. Oh, darn it. Wait a second. I should be in June. Okay, so I okay. this is June 28th. I'm totally off. So let me, let me read Justice Mets schedule uh, 1983. All right. And uh, let's go to June 28th. This will be much faster now. Sorry, guys. June 28th, and it's the first game of the second. This is the second game. I'm playing the second game first and the first game second. So I'm just letting you know. This is really an experiment. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, they got Ashford is available. Ashford is available, so he's going to pitch shit for Gorman. And then they brought in Holman. I'm going to bring in Scott. Actually, they brought in Sisk. So I'm going to bring in Sisk first simply because – um, it's a close game. If it was not a close game, I bring it home at first. So Sisk, and Sisk is going to come in down here in the seventh. All right, so Tucker Ashford batting against LaPointe. It's an 11. It's a patient, and the patient 11 is a base hit. Holy smokes. And Giles, will that bring Giles home? Let's check here first. It does. The Mets have taken the lead 3-2. to two. And now, that's a fatigue card for LaPointe. So Tucker Ashford comes up huge and singles home the go-ahead run. Three to two Mets. And that's going to be it for LaPointe. Let's see who we bring in. Uh, the cards brought in uh, Bruce Suter because it looked, it looked like it was a close game. Yeah, this game. Oh no, was it? So Bruce Suter is going to come in. I guess he's getting he's getting some action. He's getting some work in. I don't know. That's weird. All right, in that game, but this is a close game. I'm going to bring in Suter. I should have Suter in here. I imagine I, there he is. Bruce Suter's coming in. So it was, uh, he went six and two thirds, 6.2. Let me get back to the stream image in case there's any, any issues, questions, or comments. Mike, Mike McAllister, welcome to our marathon all day payoff pitch. 10 games, trying to get to 10 games. Can I do it? With, you, with your help, I will be able to. I'm going to take a sip of some coffee because I got to be wired for this. It's my drug of choice today. Bradley. Bradley's up. Mark Bradley. All right, Bradley versus uh, righties batted at 194. Here's a pitch. Bruce Suter is in there. He's an eight patient. A patient 62, and that's going to be a line drive base hit. And Ashford may go to third, and he does. First and – oh, I made a mistake there. All right, he's at first base. I put him at second, but 
Who knows? He may end up there. There's two outs. Top of the seventh. Three to two Mets. Hubie Brooks. That's a four. A tough, tough 81. And that is a fly ball center field. And that retires aside. But the Mets pick up one big run on a pinch hit single by Tucker Ashford. Three hits. They leave two. And after six and a half, it's 3 2 Mets. Mazins. The Amazons. David Green leading it off against da -da -da -da, Sisk. Doug Sisk. So Gorman went six. Here's the pitch. It's a seven. That's in play. 25. Base hit. Base hit single. Lead off single for David Green to try to get a, a jump, and he does not. George Hendrick. Seven in play, 52, and that's popped up. Right side. First baseman, Keith Hernandez. One away. Floyd Rayford with a five. A five is a tough. 71 is a fly to center. Mark Bradley there, and now it's Glenn Brummer. Brummer is one for three. He singled, uh, singled in a run. And then the reach on an error. And it's a snake eyes, which is an in play. 75. Fly to center. Can of corn for Bradley. And that retires the side. No, no runs. One hit. We'll go to the top of the eighth. Keith Hernandez leading off. Four is a tough, and 11 is a strikeout. So Keith Hernandez is 0 for 4 today. Getting booed mercilessly here at uh, at Bush Stadium. Not popular. They're calling him a traitor. They're calling him a druggie. Not pretty. George Foster. That's ballpark. And an 83 is going to be beyond the ballpark range. So we're looking at the in play 41. That's not going to do it. It's popped up behind the plate this time. Throwing his mask away is Brummer. And makes the catch new to stands. Two down. Kingman 0 for 3. Ballpark 0 6. And against a righty 1 to 97. That's a deep drive. Left field. Back goes Van Slyke to the track. That's out of here. Dave Kingman 4 to 2. Big home run. Gives the Mets an insurance run. It's a 4 2 score now. Bob Baylor. That's a righty. That was a 1 to 97. Holy smokes. Sixer, tough. A tough 89. And that is grounded to short. Ozzy Smith, great play. Spinorama. Beautiful throw. And in time. He makes the toughest plays look easy. Ozzy Smith, he's an A4. A range, can get to everything. So one run, one hit. The home run by Dave Con Kingman. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. Sisk is still in there. Andy Van Slyke is leading us off. That's a four, tough, tough 14, strike three, one away. Ozzie Smith. It's a five, a tough, six, 19, and that is a base hit. Ozzie Smith does not strike out very much. One to 10 on strikeouts against righties. Holy smokes. That's the, uh, we're going to get a pinch hitter. <clears throat> We're going to get a pinch hitter. And uh, who's it going to be? Who did I say it was going to be? Uh, who did I say it was going to be? I don't know if I did say. Pinch hitter. We got a righty on the mound. So we, oh, Dane Org. Dane Org's coming in. He's going to pinch hit. We've got a bunch of lefties. 42 ball game. That's her up. Pinch hitter. And here goes. Here's a pitch from Doug Sisk. It's a 12 ballpark, 11. It's going to qualify, but he doesn't hit home runs at all. So it's going to be in the wheelhouse. Wheelhouse 74. It's righty. 
That's going to be chopped to short. Charged by Baylor. Fires the first. Oh, wait. Could be a double play. Nope. Could be a 6-3. Runner advances. On a 12, he advances automatically. We'll put that two, oh, nine, uh, nine, nine spot. It's going to one who advances him. All right, so that's two outs now. Here in the bottom of the eighth, 4 2. That's Tommy Herner. Pitch from Sisk, six, patient, patient, 64. That's going to be a base on balls. So that puts runners on first and second. Tying run is already on first. And it's Willie McGee. Here's the pitch. Six patient, patient 31. That's going to be a wild pitch. Both runners in advance. So both runners advance on the wild pitch. We give the wild pitch to Sisk. Now it's second and third. Here's a pitch to McGee and see what happens. A four is a tough 91. And that's going to be a ground ball second base. Giles, easy flip to Baylor. And oh, no. He's going to go to first because there's no runner at first, so there's no flip. But that is the third out, and uh, the cards leave two. So it's no runs, one hit. They leave two. We go to the top of the ninth. Suit is still in there. Got an inning in the third. He's going to go a little bit more. Brian Giles. Bring it off. Snake Eyes. Wheelhouse. Wheelhouse 55. It's going to take us to – it's a righty, so that's going to take us to uh, – in play. In play 45. That's popped up. Behind the plate. Again, Rummer throws his mask away. Makes the catch. So a lot more pop-ups now than before. We adjusted some of some of the uh, 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 the rows. And there's a lot more many more pop-ups and line drives from what I'm seeing. All right. Okay, so there's one out. Top of the ninth. Mets are up four to two. It's the second game of a of a doubleheader. I played the second game first, but so be it. It's my it's my uh, uh, league, so I decided to do that. No, I, I didn't decide to do that. I, I didn't know that that would happen. All right, Junior Ortiz with a three. A three is a ballpark. A fifty is going to be outside of the ballpark range and into the wheel uh, into the in play range. But eleven is line base hit. So Junior Ortiz is one for four today. Not a bad hitter against righties. He's batted 264 against lefties, 234. Hitting against a righty right now. So Ortiz on with a single when you get a pinch hitter. Against a righty, it's going to be Rusty Staub. Got a pinch hit. Love when I bring in Rusty Staub. Love Le Grand Orange. And that may force us to bring in a lefty. Let's see what we got in the bullpen. I'm bringing a lefty. John Martin's coming in. So John Martin's gonna he's gonna pitch. So they're bringing in Martin to face stop. All right, here's a pitch, and that's an eight. An eight is a tough. A nineteen is a strikeout. So Rusty strikes out. And Mark Bradley now we run out first. And let me try to get a a, a jump. All right, an eight. John Martin, an eight is a tough. He's a lefty, by the way, so I got to look on the left side. And a tough is a 47. Tough 47. That's strike three, and that retires the side. That's lead one. Score none. And on a hit, uh, they leave a. Uh, there was a hit in that inning. We're well, bottom of the ninth. Green, Hendrick, and we're going to bring in Orozco. Orozco to do the deal, the dirty deed of picking up the save. Cisco already went two innings. So we're going to let the Roscoe go. Uh, Green is a righty. There's all righties coming up. But that doesn't really matter back then. It didn't. You know, if there's a lefty coming up, but right now I did not. I could have gone with, uh, I don't know who I have in here, but I'm going to go with the Roscoe. All right. It's a nine. It's a tough 59. And yeah, that's going to be an out. It's going to be a ground ball, first base. So a nine is a tough, a 59 against a lefty is an out. 59 is a ground ball first base, one away. George Hendrick next. That's an eight again, a tough, a 90 tough. Is a chopper to short. 
waiting back for a split second as Baylor now charges, fires the first on the run, and gets Hendrick. Two down. Mets are one out away from picking up this game. And it's a five in play, in play 44, and that is a ground ball third base. Brooks scoops it, lets it fly, and in time, high throw, but nice stretch by Hernandez. And that retires the side, and that's the ball game. Ball game over. Mets win it. Score four to two. And let's uh, quickly track the hit hits for both teams. So hits for the Mets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits for the Mets. Hits for the Cardinals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits for the Cardinals. Uh, no errors on the Cardinals that I can see. No errors. One error on the Mets. It was the I believe it was an error on the shortstop in that fifth inning. So the Mets have to keep one error at least a game. But the opponent didn't make an error in the last game either. The Mets had an error, but the opponent didn't. One nothing right there. And again, oh wait, no, that was the opponent. The Mets didn't have an error last game. They have one here. But in the first game they had two. The opponent had none in that first game. So the opponents haven't been getting many errors. Um We'll see what happens. Let's go to the next game, just like that. We have to change a couple of players. Uh, Wilson is leading it off. Brooks was in there. So it's going to be Wilson, Brooks, Hernandez, Foster. Strawberry played in that uh, first game. Hodges, Baylor, and Kendo. Kendo. Strawberry, Hodges. Ed Lynch is going to be the pitcher. There he is, Ed Lynch. is coming in to pitch. Ed Lynch was 10-10 uh, and 10 with a 4.28 ERA. Should be a C in Appa. Ten, he got ten wins. Should be a C. Can't can't give a guy with because a D. If a guy has a six ERA, you give him a D. How could you give a guy with a four and a half ERA, which is still you're still in the game with allowing only four runs? It's not the end of the world. So anyway, uh, let's see where we are here. Strawberries in there, batting fifth. So you got Wilson leading off. Brooks batting second and third base. Batting third is Keith Hernandez. Batting cleanup is George Foster, left fielder. Batting fifth is Strawberry. Baylor. You got Baylor. Hodges batting seventh, the catcher. Okendo batting eighth, and Ed Lynch. And uh, let's see. There's Baylor. So we'll pop him in there right before Hodges and Okendo. And uh, Ed Lynch is a five. I know that's what we need here. This one was a five, so we'll pop that back there. So the Mets are ready, and the pitcher is going to be Bob Forsh. Bob Forsh is going this game. First game of doubleheader played on June 28, 1983. We played them out of order, but it doesn't make a huge difference. I don't play injuries. I should play actual lineups, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, we're almost ready. Bob Forsh is a 12. Pitcher hitting cards. So he's a good, good hitting pitcher. I think I have that card already. That card, I believe, is out. Let's see if everything can pretty, pretty much be seen there. Okay, her Overfell is in this one. Let's see. Let's find out where that uh, set was. Overfell. Is Porter in this one? Now Porter is in this one. He's playing. Overfell is playing. Uh, everybody else is the same. Okay. 
All right. So it's going to be uh, Tommy Her leading it off. Oh, goodness. What did I do with Tommy Her? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's over Her, Overfell, McGee. Now we'll play a couple innings to speed it up a little bit. David Green, Vance Like. Batting six, batting seventh is Daryl Porter. Big acquisition acquisition by Whitey Herzog. He really liked Daryl Porter. I thought he was a great uh, receiver. That's what she said. And um, Ozzy Smith, Bob Forsh, is going to have a pitcher hitting card of, what do we say? Of a 12. I don't know what, where I, did I put that away? Yep, here it is. Okay, that's it. We're ready to start. Mookie Wilson. Play ball, yells the umpire. Play ball, and we're going to uh, pull some, we're going to play a, an inning of cards. Let me just slide this over so I can play some cards and, and some dice. Cards and dice, fast action cards. They're, they're good. They make it chartless. I don't think I looked at the chart at all last game. I don't think so. All right, here it goes. Play a couple innings with this. That'll move really fast. All right, Bob Forsh, here's a pitch. It's a nine. That's a tough. A tough zero zero is going to be a defensive call. So we're going to uh, pull a number. Number is 85, so that's beyond everything. Because it's, oh, wait, no. Wait, if it's an F, hold on a second. So let's see who it's to. It's the left fielder. Left fielder is Andy Vance like. Is Andy Vance like an F? No, he's a C. So that's. Maybe a catch. Line drive caught by by Vance Like. All right. Next is Hubie Brooks. Seven is a tough. And 83 is a fly ball center field. Two out. Right there is Willie McGee. He runs it down. Four is a tough. And a 97 is a fly to right. And right is David Green. He makes the catch. So three flyouts, three up, three down, just like that. That's how quick it is to play fast action cards. You don't get the total randomness. Uh, Tommy Her nine. Tough. It's a ten. So Ed Lynch, ten is a strikeout, one away. Ulrichfeld, lefty, five is a tough. Eighty-six. Ground to second. Second baseman. Baylor makes the play. Two out. And Willie McGee is an eight. Eight is an in play. In play 77. That's going to be an out. Fly ball center field. Mookie Wilson tracks it down. Three up, three down. Wow, that was a fast inning. George Foster leading on top of the second. Ballpark, ballpark 0-4. Against the righty, 1-56. to 56. That's a deep drive. Left field. And back goes Van Slyke to the track to the wall. That's out of here. one nothing. Metropolitans, just like that, George Foster connects. Hit 28 home runs in 1983. Got good power. Daryl Strawberry, three, defense. 95. It's a high number. It's going to be nothing. Ground ball, shortstop. He gets there. But first in time against Strawberry, Bob Forsh, seven. Seven tough, 69. Ground to second. Tommy Hur whips it to first, two out. And Ronnie Hodges, ballpark, 83 is in play, in play 92, fly ball right field. Under it is David Green makes the catch, three up, three down. Uh, well, after the home run, of course. <laughs> one run on uh, one hit, the home run by George Foster. All right, George, uh, uh, George Hendrick now. George Hendrick, he made out. So did I just pull a two? Yeah, I did. Pull the two, that's wheelhouse. Wheelhouse 54 is a drive down the left field line. Frozen rope, and that's going to reach the wall quickly. Round second base, the throw to second, not in time. Hendricks on one leadoff double. David Green, four. Four is a tough 52. Tough 52, and that is a comebacker. If Hendricks at seven, he goes to third on this. It's the only one, and he is not. He's a five. I'll write that in. It's a five run. So he's going to stop. It's going to be one uh, ground ball back to the pitcher. 
And uh, Andy Vance like, here's the pitch. And it's a six in play, 36 in play, 36. Base hit. Will Hendricks score? And he does not. He stops. Stops at third. So first and third. Six plays bad and moves into third. All right, first and third. And it's Daryl Porter. It feels in for the Mets. Six in play. In play 97, that's a fly ball. Is that a deep fly ball? It is a potential double play, but that's always a potential double play. I don't understand that. Again, another potential double play. Deep fly. And I got to look up what that potential double play means. But it's to me, it's always a double play. If you catch it, you throw the guy out, it's a double play. So it's a deep fly. He's going to try to score. So let's see. Let's see if we have oh, – oh, that's a high number, but that's going to – yeah. Um, this was a fly ball. Who was it to the fly ball? It was a 97. It was a fly ball to the right fielder, so it's F9. And the right fielder's arm, Strawberries, I believe is a 7. Let's double check. I'm trying to memorize these. I didn't play in the last game. So this, I'll tell you why that's not that's not an out. That's a hold because I only get, I only you only can get thrown out automatically on a seven, on an eleven to a twelve. His arm is a seven. All right, and we roll a ten. If it had been eleven or or a twelve, he's out automatically. Okay, that's why there's more there's more attempts. Otherwise, you, if if there's too much of a possibility for an out, um, then uh, and 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 you can basically. You can still get thrown out when you use the coach's choice. You see, all the way from 11 to 45, 40% chance of basically a little bit more, 45% chance of, or 35% chance of being thrown out there. Okay, plus you get the automatic on 11 and 12. So, um, and I'd rather just hold the guy. So everything else is going to be a hold unless I get the coach's chart or 11 or 12. That's the only possibility to be thrown out. Otherwise, it just holds. So he decides he's going to try to tag, and then he changes his mind, and uh, not deep enough in his view. The deep fly ball is just not deep enough. Ozzie Smith with two outs. Runner, oh, wait, there was a runner on third, right? That's the guy I was testing, uh, Hendrick. Hendrick was a five running. So had I rolled a five or less, he would have scored. All right, so uh, it works out really well. Ozzie Smith. And that's, oh, now I'm rolling. Okay, let's see. 11 is a tough, a tough 50. And that is a ground ball, first base. Right there's Hernandez. And no runs, two hits, top of the third. That was excitement. A lot of went on, a lot went on there in that inning. Top of the third. Let's keep on uh, pulling cards. Niner. It's a tough, a tough 24, and that's a strikeout. So a little Kendo goes down swing. And curveball gets so Kendo. Seven is a tough. Oh, and then we got to fix this now. Hold on a second. And uh, that's a 10. That's a in play, in play, in play 38 against the pitcher, right? Pitcher Lynch is a 5. In play 38 is a ground ball first base. Hendrick beats Lynch to the bag. And now here comes Mookie Wilson on a 9. A 9 is a tough. And a 40. Against the righty is going to be a base hit. So Mookie dry up, muscles one up the middle, little ground ball makes it to the outfield, and Mookie's going to try to steal. Eleven's not going to do it. Oh, Hubie Brooks. Here's a pitch to Hubie. Eight. Eight is an in play. In play thirty-two, and that is going to be nope, not a wild pitch. Remember those thirties, those mid thirties, thirty and up. So it's going to be a what we say it was. It was an eight. An in play 32, and that may be a base hit, and it is. And Mookie Wilson is going to hustle over to third base with two outs, first and third. Mets have a little bit of something with two outs, two out rally. Two out rally. Let's go, Mets. Oh, what did I put it there for? Fives ballpark. Hernandez against righties, one to 43. Let's see if we can get in the wheelhouse. Wheelhouse needs to be uh, one to 42 against a uh, lefty, one to 34. Well, you're right. So it's going to be one to 13 for home run. Oh, it's a zero one. That's a deep drive. Right center field, Keith Hernandez is going to be feel, feeling good about this one here at the, his old home park, and that's out of here. Three-run shot for Keith Hernandez in his return to St. Louis. Holy smokes, he's been getting booed mercilessly. Payback time for the fans here at St. Louis, calling him a druggie and calling him a traitor because he left town. Keith Hernandez never wanted to leave. 
but it was Whitey Herzog. He just did not get along with the eccentric Keith Hernandez and uh, George Foster. There was a lot of rumors about his drug use as well in the newspapers. So that didn't endear him to the management. Hey there, RJL in the house. Yeah, Sisk had a great season in 83. He had like a 220 ERA. What do Rusty and Don Manley have in common? Besides, they're both lefties. I don't know. Both are great players. Retired a year before the Mets and the Yankees won the title. Ah. Too bad. They deserve to be there. George Foster, three-run homer by Keith Hernandez. Puts the Mets up 4 nothing. Holy smokes. All right, so I know that uh, Keith Hernandez about that really struggled in this series his first series back to st louis he was with this organization for 10 years and in this uh trip to st louis he he was booed mercilessly it was it was heartless the way that he was treated and it really affected him he really he really wanted to be liked and wanted to be loved and he was a guy he's an emotional guy he's a smart guy you know an emotional guy did a lot of reading Wade herzog wasn't into the 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 the, the book reading um, George Foster is up. Foster hit a home run in the second inning. That's a six, a six twenty nine er. So it's a patient twenty nine, and that is going to be a base on balls. So uh, Bob Forsh is struggling. He was ten and twelve with four twenty eight ERA. Pitched almost two hundred innings. So we're not going to pull him just like that. But his fatigue six. So far he's given up four runs. So he, by six, by the sixth inning, we're going to have to pull a. a uh, I don't think he's going to make it that far because he's really already he's going second time around the lineup here. And he's almost halfway through. It's only the third inning. All right, so Daryl Strawberry's up. Here's a pitch. And it's a seven. Seven is tough. Tough 14. Strike three. Fastball gets Strawberry. But the Mets come up pretty big with a three spot on three hits and a walk. They leave one. Score is four nothing after Two and a half. Bottom of the third. Here it goes. We're still doing some cards just to speed it up a little bit. Bob Forsh is up with a four. That's a tough, tough 34 strike three. One away. Strike out. And that is an homage to RJL. Watch his channel. He's, he's, he's a funny, funny character. He does fun. A lot of his thing, his shtick. He does his stick, and that's always entertaining. Tommy Herr. And Lynch, seven, in play, 53. In play, 53 is a now, it's a ground of the first. Hernandez, nice play. He's going to race back to the bag and beats, beats her. Ed Lynch was slow in getting off the mound. Kenny Overfield with two outs, it's a five, it's a five tough, 11. And that is going to be trouble. That's going to roll to the wall, drives one in the gap, splits the outfielders, and Overfell with a two-out double. Throw is not in time. Willie McGee, here's the pitch. And an eight is an in play. In play, zero, two. Base hit. And that's going to get make it to the wall. It's going to be back-to-back -back doubles here. Back-to-back -back doubles off Lynch, just like that. It's a four-to-one game now. RBI double for center fielder Willie McGee. George Hendrick, here's a pitch from Ed Lynch. Better settle down. Tough, tough 43, and that's a base hit. Will this score a run? And it does. They're waving Willie McGee around. Here's a throw to the plate. Not in time. First base, RBI single. And after, this is a two-hour rally. After two outs, double, double, single. Uh-oh, David Green is up. Score now is 4-2. to two. Here's a pitch from Lynch. A four is a tough, tough 35. Strike three, and that retires the side. But they pick up two big runs on three big hits. It's four to two now. All right. Bob Baylor. Now, this is the top of the fourth. This is where you have to shuffle. You got to do the shuffle when you use the cards. Now, cards are more, much more, uh, you know, there's a, there's a, 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 a a franticness, right? Um, that that comes about from using dice. The rolling, the sound. This is very silent. 
very quiet, very kind of uh, 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 serene. You know, this is uh, using the fast action cards gives you a different feel for the game. You know, strike out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a good, that's, that's fine. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We uh, keep on using the fast action cards. Getting a nice mix, I think. Mets are winning, so that's good. When they stop winning, I'll start rolling dice again. Bob Baylor. Bob four, six. It's a patient. Patient 18. That is a ball four. High outside. will count. And he doesn't get the call. And uh, Ron Hodges, he goes, four is a tough, a tough 99. That's fly ball right field. Under it is Vance Like. And Jose Ocando's an eight and play, and play 41. And that's a comebacker. This may turn up to be a double play. It won't be. It's going to be a one-six fielder's choice. 11 and 12 is, is, are the numbers that you're looking for a runner advance. So it's uh, Okendo's on it first. Let's see if Okendo get a lead. Six, and he does not. Should have tried that with uh, Baylor. Forgot to do that. All right, so the pitcher, six, patient, patient 55, and he's a five. That's not going to do it. It's going to be a fly ball right field, shallow right. Vance Lake over, makes the catch that retires the side. Mets lead one, score none. Bottom of the fourth, 4-2 four Mets. Vance Lake leading it off. Here goes, eight. In play, zero, five, base hit. And Vance Lake's going to try for two. Throw to second. The tag, not in time. Double, leadoff double. He's two for two on the day, Vance Lake. Darrell Porter's next. With a seven in play, in play 66. That's a fly ball left field. Under it is Foster. One away. Ozzie Smith, eight is in play, 20. In play 20 is a base hit. Will this score Vance like? And it does. Four to three. RBI single for Ozzie Smith. Ozzie Smith, RBI, and he's going to try to get a lead now. It's an eight. Not going to do it. He needs a five. All right, so Bob Forsh with one out. And we're going to let Bob Forsh bat because he's a pretty decent hitter. It's a 12 batting uh, hitter pitching card or pitcher hitting card. 11. 11 is tough. Tough 65. Strike three. Two out. Curveball gets Forsh. Had to throw him a curveball. Fouled off four or five fastballs in a row. Tommy Herr. Seven is in play. In play 84. That's going to retire the side. It's chopped to second. Charging it is Baylor. Sidearms it in time. But one run on two hits. We go to the top of the fifth. Four to three. Holy smokes. So the Cardinals are back in business. Mookie. And both. Uh, they're going to start getting tired now. Wait, hold on a second. Five. Okay, so this is a tired inning for Lynch and a six. This is going to be a tired inning for Forge. Here goes. Top of the order, Mookie Wilson. Mookie Wilson strikes out way too much for a leadoff hitter. Eight. In play. In play 32. That's a base hit for Mookie Wilson. I with a single try to get a lead. Let's see if someone get a jump. Nobody can get a jump. Holy smokes. All right. Here goes. Huey Brooks, an eight. In play, 50. And that may end up being, oh, popped up. In play, 50. Pop up right side. Hendrick at first base makes the catch. One away. Keith Hernandez could try to hit run. Keith Hernandez is two. Tough. Tough 82. That's a fly ball center field. Running it down is Willie McGee. Me and Mill, me and Willie McGee. George Foster, six. Patient, patient 98. It's an out fly ball. Left field. It's hooking away from left fielder Vance. Oh, left field Vance like. Okay, I thought he was in right field. I was calling him in right field. He's a left fielder. I think I was calling him. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I was calling him in right field. Okay. He's in left field. That's He makes the catch. No runs, one hit, we go to the bottom of the fifth. So now we're going to get a uh, a fatigue card. Oh, wait. No, he's a six. Ed Lynch is a six. They're both six. Why did I say five? I made a mistake. Okay, good. I'm glad I double-checked. Double, you always got to double-check. 
Here goes a six. Six is in play. In play 49. Base hit. Frozen rope to right field. Play on a hop by Daryl Strawberry. Overfell is going to try to get a jump. And a seven is not going to do it. Willem McGee, hit and run. Here goes. 12, defense. Defense, 0 3. That's going to be something. It's going to be an error at third base. What kind of an error? It's going to be a one base error. So it's E5. So that's the error we needed for the Mets right there. So it's an E5. And an E5, runner advances one base. So he bobbles it. Everybody's safe. First and second, George Henrik. Here's a pitch, three. Three is ballpark. 56 is beyond ballpark, so it's in play, 39. Base hit. Will this score run on second? Yep, both runs are going to advance two bases. And they're waving over and fell home. He scores. Game is tied. Going to third is Willie McGee. First and third. And Hendrick, second, he's three for three with two RBIs. Infield's in. Here's a pitch to David Green. Four, tough. A strikeout here. 35, say strikeout, just what we needed. Fastball gets green. Andy Vance like and feels in. Six, that's in play, in play 77. This is going to be a fly ball center field. If it's deep, it could be a sacrifice fly, and it is deep. Then pull a card. Should be low. It's automatic. That should be automatic. Uh, McGee should be very fast, and that's, I can guarantee you, 110% that he scores. I'm not even going to look that up. I would not. I would not, uh, uh, you know, shame McGee by looking that up. And that was a ball to hit where 81 was a fly ball center field. RBI. And the – holy smokes. They have taken the lead. The Cardinals taking a 5-4 lead here in the bottom of the fifth. Two out runner on first. Let's try to get a lead for Hendrick. We don't get it. Nobody gets a lead in this game. Daryl Porter's up. Here goes. Here's the pitch to Daryl. Six. Six is in play. 68. It's going to be a fly ball left field. Right there's Foster. Makes the catch. But they pick up two runs on two hits. An error. They leave one on base. And it's the Cardinals. Five. Mets four. Holy smokes. We got a four-nothing lead, and that's it. All right. We want to get to the pitcher coming up. We don't need it, but I'd like to do that. But he's going to be a fatigue pitcher card next inning. They both are, actually. Glad I remembered that. So let's grab – and I like using the fatigue pitcher cards. I think they're a lot of fun. Oh, my cards are flying all over the place up here. I got a whole stack of cards to the ceiling. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, staying healthy. Got a big surge here in Texas. Haven't gone out in days. In months. I don't know. I'm going nuts here. All right, uh, I do go out. I can walk the dog, and I go out on my bike just to get some exercise. All right, so we're looking for a fatigue pitcher card for Forsh. He has given up a, uh, four runs already. So uh, Forsh is a 2.7 and a 4, so higher than 4 and less, and less than 6. Higher than 4, less than 6. Ah, found it. Okay. Here it is. Fatigue pitcher card. Let's see what happens. I gotta we gotta create a rule for fatigue pitcher card. Like how long can you leave him in there with fatigue pitcher card? Should be if he get like allows like three base runners or something like that in an end. Strawberry is a four. Patient. Patient ninety-nine. And that's gonna be a skies one to right field. Backpedaling is David Green on the track and makes the catch. So hung up there a long time. It's really got under it. Bobby Baylor, and that's an eight. That's patient. Patient 49 is a base hit, so Bob Baylor is on with a single. Let's get tired for a lead again, the high number. No lead there. Man, we can't get a stolen base. Ronnie Hodges, left-hand hitter. Oh, why did I go to this thing? Okay, here goes. Five. It's much you know, open base hit. And this could be a double. Ronnie Hodge is gonna get two out of this. And are they gonna try to score? They are gonna try to score. Baylor 
Here's a throw to the plate, and not in time. RBI, game is tied thanks to a double by Ronnie Hodges. So it's at 0-7. So we pulled a 5, which was a in play, 0-7. That's a double. Holy smokes. RBI double for Ronnie Hodges. Big double. Ties the game at 5 apiece. And we said one more guy gets on, then we, we remove the, you know what? Uh, we remove the fatigue card and bring in a, a reliever. One more guy, one more base runner, if he allows one more base runner. Let's kind of, let's use that rule for both teams. In play, 36. Strike three. Oh, in play, 36. I was looking at tough. In play, 36 is pop-up behind the plate. That used to never happen. In two games, I already got like three of those. That used to never happen. So he listened. He got he got uh, ticked, and he listened to people. And uh, he, he, he adjusted that, and it's beautiful now. It's much better. Ed Lynch, okay, this is where we want to get for the Mets, right here. So this is where we can get bring in a pinch hitter. Um, we're going to bring in a lefty. So who's who we got lefty? We got oh, we got a couple guys left. We got uh, I don't know. If, I know Danny Heap is still here. Danny Heap is still here. I can guarantee that. I will double check though. And let me just go to the Mets. Uh, the second double header all day marathon. I don't know how far I'll get. To be, I'm getting exhausted already. Danny Heap is here. So Danny Heap is pitching. Uh, pitching. He's pinch hitting. So he's available. Danny Heap. All right. So Danny Heap is lefty. He's going to face uh, Bob Forsh. Bob Forsh is due up next inning. So trying to get him to go a little bit longer. Heap with a snake eyes. That's going to be in play. In play 73. And that is ground ball to short. Easy play. Easy scoop by Smith. Fires to first. And on target for the third out. But the Mets, the Amazons, pick up one run to tie the game at five on two hits. We go to the bottom of the sixth. So we're going to get a new pitcher for the Metropolitans. We're going to face Ozzy Smith in that next inning. And it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be, we're going to bring in, uh, we got Tommy Hurd. I think Tommy Hurd's a a switch here. Then we got lefty. I'm going to bring in uh, a player, a, a pitcher that was amazing with the Mets. Had a very low ERA. Carlos Diaz had an ERA of 205 and 83 innings pitched. So he's coming in. Carlos Diaz, he's amazing. And Lynch goes six, and the game is tied, so he will not get a loss. No, Lynch goes five. And. Um, Forsh is gonna get Forsh is gonna go six and he's gonna get pulled. So here goes Ozzy Smith leaving it off. Top of the seven, no, bottom of the six. Okay. So we don't have to shuffle yet. Eight. Eight is a Carlos Diaz tough. A tough 16 is oh man. Against a lefty boy. Ozzy Smith actually struck out here. Against lefties, he's one to twenty one. Against righties, doesn't strike out at all. He's one to ten. Now we're gonna get a pinch hitter. Here goes. Very good. That's what we wanted. So we got a lefty, so we're going to bring in uh, – not, not the catcher. I want to bring in the catcher. I'm going to bring in R Floyd Rayford. Rayford's coming in. And uh, here goes. Here's a pitch to Rayford. That's a six. Tough. Tough 60. And that is a base hit. So look at that. Against a lefty, he hits better against a lefty. So I guess that's why we chose him, right? Yeah, right. Tommy Hurt with a runner on first, and he is a four run, not a very fast runner. We'll leave him in there. Tommy Hurt. That, that doesn't have to do with speed anyway. That's how many runs they scored. It has nothing to do with speed. You can be a fast runner and have a four just because you didn't score a lot of runs. All right. Uh, Tommy Hurt. We're going to hit and run. Six is a tough. See if we can stay out of double play. And we. And we do. Ground ball, shortstop. It's going to be only one play. And that's the first. So we stay out of the double play. And now it's Ken Overfell. Overfell is two for three. But he's a lefty. 
So that's why we have Carlos Diaz in there. Against lefties, bats 194.5. That's a tough, a tough 95. And that is a pop-up right field. Back goes Hernandez. In comes Strawberry. Almost a collision. And Strawberry comes up with it. A snow cone. Fly ball, nine. No runs. One hit. Top of the seven. New pitcher. And um, we're going to bring in Martin. Now I start bringing in guys I know and guys I remember. There's actually a couple of guys that they bring in. Suter and Martin. There's another couple of guys. Uh, Suter, Martin, who else can I bring in? Uh, pitcher. Let's see. Oh, Cott is another guy that does. Oh, Baird. Doug Baird is another guy I can bring in. Okay, and I think I'm going to bring in Baird. I just want to make sure that he's he's uh, on the on the roster. I usually use my roster, but in this case, uh, Lotti is another guy I can bring in. I'm going to bring in Lotti. What did I throw them over there for? Why did I throw my pictures in the wrong pile? Okay. Bring in Lotti. Lotti Da. Where is he? Love uh, payoff pitch because they give you all the cards. Come on, nobody else does this. Not at this price. You got to get the PDFs. PDFs are amazing. Now, the cards are the best quality in the business. I'm not going to lie to you. But, you know, I got a bunch of their cards already. And I may never get into play a lot of them because I do all this other thing, all this random stuff from one day to the next. All right. Uh, Mookie Wilson. And I can't, they don't fit in my, in, my, uh, in my coffin either. So Lotti's coming in. Lotti's a good pitcher. 3-3 three, three with a 3-16 ARA and 74 innings pitched. So he's one of the main guys that they used. And he's going to face Mookie, the Mook, Mookie Wilson. And uh, they had interesting nicknames for a lot of these Mets, behind-the-scenes nicknames. And you get that from the book. Um, where's the book? The Bad Guys Won by Jeff Perlman. You get the, all the inside info on the Mets, you know, on the Mets uh, dynasty, late 70s, 80s dynasty. You get that in that book. Really well written, too. Great writer, Jeff Perlin. Wow. Press. press. Uh, let's go. Mookie Wilson. Oh, we didn't. We didn't. Um, this is the top of the seventh. So you got to, uh, in the top of the fourth, top of the seventh is when I shuffle again. Shuffle all the cards, not just a small batch. That way I can get a full representation in there. And the ones on the bottom can be on the top, and the ones on the top can be on the bottom. Not just 30, 40, 50 cards, because that would kind of misrepresent things. Got to be careful. Because, uh, otherwise, you get anomalies. Like, I think there was a player that had 11 or 12 walks for Nolan Ryan. I mean, that's kind of weird. That's really an anomaly. I played the same games, and I didn't get more than two or three walks per game. Because, you know, so a lot of times you get those those anomalies that come up. All right, here goes. Oh. Put them upside down. All right, top of the seventh, it's Lottie, Jeff Lottie. Here's a pitch for eight. Eight is in play, zero, five, and that's going to be driven over the center fielder's head. That's going to roll to the wall, and Mookie, big turn, is going to try for three. No, puts on the brakes, slips, gets back up. The throw to second base, he's out. No, no, he's safe. He dropped the ball, the second baseman. Tommy Hur dropped the ball. Holy smokes, that was exciting. I excited myself on that. <laughs> All right, Huey Brooks with a runner on second base. And Wilson's going to try to get a lead. You need doubles. Below his number is a six. And so you need uh, 2 2, 4 4, 3 3. No, can't be 4 4. It's got to be 3 3 or 2 2. Ah, 3 3. So we do get 3 3. Okay. So uh, we can try for third. We're going to try to steal third. And he is a, let's see, what is he? He's a B. And Porter, I haven't checked Porter. Um, Porter should have a good arm. Hold on a second. Porter should have a good arm. Porter's a, oh yeah, he does. C2. So this is going to be, he's going to be normal because Wilson's a good base runner. So he's a B and that brings him down one to normal. So it's going to be a B2 
And I'm not going to look it up because I know it's. I know I'm right. But it should be a normal. But I'll double check. I'll challenge myself. Challenge myself. I'll question myself. And I think that's over here. Uh, no, it's over here. And that's going to be right there. It's a B2. What I say, normal. Okay, boom. It balanced each other. One, they start at three. It flattens at three. So here goes. We need a. What do we say we need? Oh, we're going to look in this little square. And he is safe at third base. Wow. So Mookie Wilson steals third. And that puts the go ahead run at third base with nobody out. Yui Brooks. Good throw by Porter. Just not in time. Tag was a little bit late. Yui Brooks. Good jump. Stole that on the pitcher. That's a six. Patient. Patient 49. And that is, oh, no, not a base hit. Patient 49 is popped up. Right side. Hendrick makes the catch. Not what he wanted to do. He's a little angry with himself. Keith Hernandez. Infield in, by the way. Didn't call that, but it's common sense. In play, in play 93 is a fly ball right field. Oh, okay. Let's see. Deep fly. Short fly. Oh, darn it. Short fly. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a, a little uh, modifier. We're gonna give two extra points for outs to the outfielder. So instead of being 11 and 12, he's out. It's gonna be uh, uh, um, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, 9, 10, 11, uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12 because this is a short fly. So this could be a short fly modifier, and the runner is gonna get a a discount as well. He's going to go a minus two as well. So you got a big negative to try to score on a, fly, on a fly like this. So more chance you get thrown out and less chance you can make it and more chance that you may not go at all. Uh, there's a lot of things happening here. Well, actually, there's less of a chance. There's, um, so he's going to go a minus two. So where is he? So he's a, an eight. So he's become a six because he's really speedy. And a short fly doesn't really tell you that much. It could be kind of uh, a, you know, a short deep fly or a short short fly. You don't really know. So um, it's abstracted. So let's make him a six. That's still not good. That's still not good because it seems like too high. But he's a fast, super fast runner. I don't know what to do here. I don't want to be unfair. I don't want to give my team the advantage. But he is uh, the fastest. Well, he, is, he has the best running rating on uh, both teams, I believe. Let's double check. Let's see if there's anybody else who's an eight. Run five, run five, run seven. William McGee's a seven. Ah, David Green's an eight. Run seven. So two guys would be able to still have a chance to score. And you know what? Uh, let's roll. Let's give him a minus three. Let's, do that. let's give him a minus three. Let's make it a five. Because I think that's harsh enough. You know, because you'd only try it with, like, the fastest guys. So this becomes a five. It's still pretty good. And let's pull a card. That's a nine. And he is out at the plate. See what happens? So uh, it was a short fly. I didn't write two with who it was two either. Let me check. It was an 88. No, no, no. It was not an 88. Uh, was it an 88? It was Heath Hernandez. Hits a fly. It's going to be a double play. No, it was a 93. And that was a sh right field. And it's going to be a fly ball, 9-9-2. Nine, nine, so right fielder David Green and his arm rating. And so the tying run gets thrown out at the plate, Mookie Wilson. David Green is a six-arm. So a six-arm. And Green is the jack-of-all-trades D. Two, six arm. So he throws out Mookie Wilson, and the inning is over. Holy smokes. Started off, you know, it started off looking so positively with a runner on third base and nobody out and a pop-up and then a double play from the outfield. So David Green picks up an assist in the outfield, and Mookie Wilson, thinking that he could make it, and it was a perfect throw. All right, so no runs. One hit, still five to five. Bottom of the seventh. Carlos Diaz is still in there. He's going to be facing Willie McGee. So that was exciting. 
And uh, William McGee, four, patient, patient 61. And that's ground ball, first base, Hernandez. He's going to flip to the pitcher covering. Every so often I do one of those, once a game. 25%. If you look at the stats of the averages, how often that happens. Six, a tough, tough 15. Straight three. Curveball gets Hendrick. Fell off the table. Carlos Diaz. Looking good. David Green is seven. Seven is in play. In play zero four. Base hit. Driven down the line into left field corner after his foster. Around first into second base with a two out double is David Green. First hit of the game for David. One for four. Now it's Andy Van Slyke, a lefty. Three. Patient. Patient 65. And that is a hit by pitch. Plumped. First and second. Darrell Porter. Six tough. Tough 13, strike three, and that retires the side. They lead two on a hit and a hit by pitch. And we're going to put that hit by pitch in there. That's his second inning of work. We'll see if we let him go three. A lot of pitchers went three back then. So that's a nice thing about it. He plays very fast when you don't have to make, you know, when I play modern games, I got to make a pitch and change every inning. Oh, man, that really slows the game down tremendously. All right, George Foster is leading it off. And uh, it's still in uh, Lati, still in there. It's an 11. 11 is a defense. Defense 90. That's going to be an, uh, not going to make it. Defense in Bush Stadium goes up to 85. This will be a range second base. Gets there. Her sets his feet over to first in time. 4 3. George Foster grounds out. Six. Patient. Patient 38. And it's based on balls. Strawberry's going to try to get a lead. A jump. Nine again. Wow. Haven't had a jump the whole game. Bob Baylor. Well, I did have one. Eight. That is in play. In play 45. And that is a comebacker. Strawberry depends on his speed. If he's seven, he goes to third. Otherwise, he holds. That's my comebacker rule. He's a five run, so he's going to hold. Oh, wait a second. He's a first base, not a second. So this may be a double play. And that's a two. Comeback or 45. That's a 45. 45. Uh, that's why cards are good. Eight. It was an in-play. An in-play 45 against a righty. And I said that was a comebacker. And that's that two is going to be one, six, three, double play. Because it's a nine and an eight. And Baylor hits into a one, six, three, double play. And that retires the side. No runs. No hits. One left on. Third inning for Diaz. It's going to be Darryl, no, Darryl Porter struck out. It's going to be Ozzie Smith. And then the pitcher, so we're probably going to see a pinch hitter. Eight, tough. Tough 70 against a lefty. I remember that. Ground ball, shortstop. Okendo, over, low throw, scooped out by Hernandez second time. that he saved an error. So Hernandez really paying off on the defensive side here for the Mets. Big acquisition by uh, Frank Cashin. Picked him up for Neil Allen, the MVP, the 1973, listen to this, 1979 MVP was picked up for Neil Allen and a prospect, Ombi, who never made it. All right, so we can get a pinch hitter here uh, for the so lefty. So we can get a righty pinch hitter. Let's see what we got. Got some action. Let's see who we got on the bench. Righty. So oh, we got Santana can pinch hit. Um, Doyle, Ramsey, Lonnie Smith. You know what? I'm going to bring in uh, Santana because I've seen him play. Oh, Brummer, but he's a catcher. He's a second catcher. I usually don't like to use him. So I'll save him. So I'm going to bring in Santana. Let's see if Santana can get a hit. Santana's going to come over to the Mets eventually. So it's... Santana against Carlos Diaz. Here's the pitch. It's an eight, tough, tough 94. It's a fly ball left field. Right there is Foster, two out. Top of the order. It's a five, five ball game, folks. Good game. Two outs. Bottom of the eighth. It's almost over. Seven in play. In play 37 against the lefty. That's a base hit. Frozen rope by Tommy Herr. Lines one to left field. Batting righty against the lefty, Diaz. Ken Overfill. 
Here's a pitch, and we try for the jump. We don't get it. And here's Overfell. Here's Carlos Diaz. Six is a tough, tough 61. And that is ground ball. Uh, no, fly ball. Lifted to left. Foster on the run near the near the spin, near the, the, the seats, and he makes the catch in foul ground. F7-01. So no runs, one hit, top of nine. And Lati is going to get – well, Lati's got to get pulled. Lati's got to get pulled because that's it. He, had, he was pinch hit for. And who are we going to bring in? We're going to bring in this kid, Bear. But who else can we bring in? Yeah, I saw Bear. I swear I saw Bear in there. Let me take a quick peek. Good game in ninth inning, so hang around because it's tied up. Let me just go to the St. Louis game. Uh, Martin Lati, Bob Forsh. Oh, no, he pinch hits. Suter comes in. I can bring in Suter for this game. It's a close game. He pitched a couple innings uh, in the second game. Yeah, so let's not bring in Forsh. He's going to pitch in the second game. Ah, uh, la, 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 la. Let's see what they're doing here. Okay, what's going on? Cardinals. Look at Cardinals box scores right around this time. See, see who's doing what, who's entering in, in and out of games. Dave Van Olen, that's it. Just the name alone makes me want to play him. So when I see guys like that that I don't recognize, I love to get them into the game. It makes it exciting. Because guys dying, the guys sitting on the bench are dying to get into these games. So I kind of live vicariously through them. They get called in there. I was I was on the bench, and I got called into the game, and man, that was heaven. I loved it. So that's why I feel for these guys. All right. I was a catcher, and I, you know, I was a second catcher, and I had to wait. I have to wait my turn. All right, so uh, Ron Hodges leading it off against Van Olen. Von, Von Olen. Von Olen, 3-2 with 3.29 ERA in eight, 68 innings pitched, 46 games. So Von Olen. Lati went two, gave up a hit, and that's in a walk. Hit and a walk and nothing else. And then Von Olen is in there now. Top of the ninth. I'll just put that in there so it's easy to find. All right. Ronnie Hodges. Here goes. Von Olin to Ronnie Hodges. Top of the ninth. Let's see if the Mets can. Hodges is one for three with an RBI double. Three. Ballpark. Oh, he's got no power. It doesn't matter. Ballpark 28. That's going to be Wheelhouse. Wheelhouse versus the lefty. 83 is an out. Brown to second. Tommy Herf throws out Hodges. Second game of doubleheader, guys. This is all-day baseball. Payoff pitch, tracking errors. So far, the Mets got their one error. They need an error per game. But the the, the, the other team doesn't get any errors. So there's not, you know, I, I got to check St. Louis's, you know, they. we'll see. All right. Jose Okendo, up. Here's a pitch, Van Olin. Von Olin. So four, tough. Tough zero nine, strike three. Curveball gets Okendo. Swing. Swings wildly at a ball in the dirt. And now we're going to get a pinch hitter. Pinch hitter versus the lefty is going to be a righty. Let's see. We're going to bring in Mark Bradley. Mark Bradley is going to pinch hit. Here's the pitch. Von Olin, five. Patient. Patient, 78. And that's a fly ball, deep center field on the run. Willie McGee turned on the Jets and catches up to it near the warning track. So he gave it a ride, but just did not carry. McGee caught up to it. Bangs off the wall a little bit. I hope he's all right. His uh, David Green asking him if he's okay. All right, so we go to the bottom of the ninth. That was a pinch hitter. So we're going to get Jesse Orozco. Orozco. Had 13 wins in 1983. He had more wins than all. He was the one with the most wins on the team, Jesse Orozco. So that's pretty funny. Ah, wrong place to look. So uh, Carlos Diaz goes three innings, and Jesse Orozco will go another three innings. That's a great thing with these relievers. You can let them go a lot of innings. Three innings, two innings was normal. I try not to do that. I try to keep the starters in there as long as possible so that I don't run into that issue. 
So we're in the bottom of the ninth. Still no free baseball. It's five to five. Willie McGee's leading it off. Here's the pitch. Two is a tough, tough 10. Jesse Roscoe, tough 10 is a strikeout. Fastball, slider. Gets McGee. Now it's George Henry. He's got a lot of power. 10. 10 is patient. That's a four. That's a base hit. Line to left, and um, Foster plays it into Okendo. David Green, we try to get a jump, an 11. Doesn't do it. David Green, 11. Patient. Patient 84. And that's a patient 84 is a fly ball, center field. Right center field. Over as Wilson makes the catch. Two down. And now it's... Vance Like, who's two for two, he, he's got a single double, sacrifice fly, and a hit by pitch. So he's two for two. Vance Like, lefty, lefty on lefty, five in play, in play 68. Ground ball, shortstop. Okendo fires the first in time, that retires the side. No runs, one hit. Extra free baseball. Read all about it. Free baseball, 5-5, five, five. top of the 10th. Mookie Wilson leading it off against Von Olin. Seven in play. In play 21. Base hit. Mook is going to try for a stolen base. He does not get the jump. I try, uh, I try hit and run. Get that. He goes an eight again in play. In play 20. Base hit. And that's going to send Mookie potentially a third base. We're going to try to send him third base. A four. He makes it. I don't even have to look. That's low enough for sure. So it was to uh, center field and center fielder McGee. And we'll do that. It's a C36. Yep. C36 makes it to third. C36. It's a seven run. All right. So first and third. So Yuri Brooks singles, and now it's going to be Keith Hernandez, a lefty. Infield's in. Here's a pitch. Eight. Eight is in play. In play 81. Against a lefty. Fly ball, center field. Again, this is a potential DPI. I don't know what the heck that means. Let's look that up. We had a DP before. It doesn't have to say DP. Potential DP. DP question mark. What the heck is that? I don't, I don't understand what that means. So any fly ball that you tag up on is a potential D, DP if you catch it. The DP would run or lead runner out if no runner. It doesn't even say it here, coach's choice. I don't understand what that means. It's the first time I ran something I don't understand what it means. Let me see if somebody's calling me. Let's see if it's an important call. Uh, call Springs. Carissa Springs. No, it's not. It's only insurance. So I don't know what it means, but it's going to happen anyway. All right. So it's, it's we don't know what it is. So we're going to say it's uh, deep fly. Okay. Deep fly. It's going to try to score. Um, who was it to? We're going to say it's to, uh, what was it? 81, 81 in a, an eight it was in play, 81. It's a fly ball center field. Okay. Arm is six. Let's just pull a card, Let's see what it is. It's a nine. So he's he's not going to go. It's a deep fly. Everybody holds. Fly ball, nine. See how quick it is? Just pull a number, and it, it'll, it guides you pretty much because – I only play thrown out 11 and 12. And I know this doesn't fall in between the arm and the run rating because that's too high. His, his arm rating is usually a higher number. Um, in this case, with Wilson, he's actually an eight. And I know that, right? So had it been an eight, I would have to check. I would have to check on coach's choice. But it's a nine. So I know that the, his, his, run, his arm rating is a six. So between six and nine, actually between seven and nine, it would be coach's choice. Six, uh, no, six and nine 
It's coach's choice. Right? Uh, so if total is less or equal to them both, so it would have to you get the lower number, which is the six. So if it would have been six or less, he'd be safe. Oh, wait. Equal, all equal or lower than both. Okay, so yeah, that's how you do it. Anyway, I know it by heart. And it's George Foster. First and third, Foster's up, 5-5, five, five, top of the 10th, pulling cards, a little bit quieter, a little bit more relaxing, four, tough, tough 65 against a lefty, and a tough 65 is a fly ball right field again, see, we may have a potential tag up, Wilson, and that is going to be a deep fly, so again, we're going to pull the cards, see what happens, we're going to have some low numbers eventually, a seven. So that's going to take us to the choice because that's between a seven, which is his run rate, no, an eight, which is his run rating, and a six, which is the, oh, right field, right? That's the right field. They're both sixes. Okay, so that's going to be coach's choice. Let's see. So we're going to roll. We're going to pull two cards. We're going to look at two uh, D10s. A 10 is a potential drop. Drop says uh, drop. Roll 1D6 if higher than the fielder's E rating. Center fielder's E rating is a, and I believe it was center fielder, right? I believe it was a center fielder. Uh, it was 67, 26. It was an eight. It was in play. 67. No, it wasn't that. 65. It was the 65. It was a right fielder. So right fielder's E rating. So if it's is a two. So we got to pull one card. So if it's more than two, it's going to be a drop, and he's safe. And it's a six, so he is safe. So right here it says on drop, which is something extra. I don't know why they have that. That could be just abstracted in. You don't even need that. Um, roll 1d6. If higher than the fielder's E rating, you drop the ball, and the runner is safe. It's not an error. Well, uh, it's not an error because it's not guaranteed that 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 he's going to would have been out had he caught it. So I don't think it's an error because then it would be it would, they would call it an error. It's not an error like a, like on a, a throw to second base. Um, you can't be, just because a guy doesn't catch it doesn't mean he you know if he would have caught it you don't know that he would have been out. So it's going to be a sacrifice fly to right field, and the Mets are up six to five. So that's huge for the Mets six to five, and that's thanks to again Foster with another RBI, the left fielder coming up big for the Mets this season. Had a poor season, only drove in seventy in 1980. 82. Very disappointing. Heard it, heard it from the crowd. He was booed mercilessly. He hated it. Oh, man, he really got, got – she struggled in New York. New York fans are, are not, you know, the friendliest, most loving of, of – uh, you know, not, not the most loving of fans. If you're not doing well, you're going to hear it from me. Although I feel that Yankee Stadium is way worse. Yankee, St 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 Yankee Stadium can be cruel. I mean, cruel, obnoxious to the extreme, whereas I've seen people thrown out of city field for using profanity and going overboard and screaming too much. Even if they didn't use profanity, if you don't stop, you're too loud, and you're, you start getting, like, kind of rude without using profanity, they'll actually speak to you and say, settle down, or we're going we're gonna to send you home. I've seen that happen many times. I go to a lot of games in the summer. My, my, my life was ruined this year, but anyway, let's not talk about that. All right, Strawberry. Vaughn Olin, here goes. It's a five. Patient. Patient 73, and that is a ground ball shortstop. That's going to be the inning. Mets pick up one big run on two hits. St. Louis is up. They're going to bring up uh, Porter, Smith, and a pinch hitter. So let's do it against Jesse Orozco. That's a seven. Tough. Tough zero six. Strike three. One away. Gets him with a big curveball, Ozzy Smith. Six tough, a tough 18. Back to back, oh, uh, back to back strikeouts. Jesse Orozco. Jesse Orozco was, he was a troublemaker on the planes. He'd sit in the back. Man, he used to do all kinds of things, start food fights. You know, he, he was, uh, he was a, a, a real joker. 
And now it's going to be a pinch hitter. We're going to get a, uh, a righty pinch hitter here for the – it's going to be Brummer. Brummer's coming in. Pinch hitter, and that's going to be number three, so I'm going to put that in there. Three pinch hitter. And Brummer's just going to bat. Here goes. We're going to roll dice on the last one. And it's a niner. Niner is a tough, a tough 99. And that's a fly ball. Left field. George Foster settles under it. Squeeze it. Ball game over the Mets. Pull one out in extra innings. Lo and behold, fly ball, left field, ball game over. Mets win it 6-5. to five. And that finishes up my crowd. My crowd's starting to file out now here. It's a long game. Extra inning affair here. And a lot of changes, a lot of pinch hitters. Two pinch hitters up here, three pinch hitters down here. One, two, six pitching changes. In a modern game, it would have been like 12 pitching changes. All right, so let's quickly do the outs, and then we're going to take a break. Two games, and then we'll come back in about a half hour. I don't know if I could do this. My uh, my my uh, my stamina is running low. Holy smokes. I'm having a good time, but that's a six. My brain, my brain starts giving out. If you don't give yourself a brain break, you start, like, thinking about things twice and questioning yourself. And so that's, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten hits. Allow uh, ten hits for the Mets, and it's going to be for the cards. That's a lot of hits. Cards had a lot of hits. Holy smokes! All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hits for the cards. 12 hits for the cards, no errors for the cards, only one error in this whole game. That was on the Mets. Mets have to make one error every game. They're behind um, a little bit. But the, the opposing team hasn't made any errors at all. Let's And I'd like to check that. I'd like to check that just out of curiosity. So we played two games in St. Louis. We're going to move to another. We're going to have to make some printouts. We're going to have to – a lot of people are going crazy. Okay, let's see. Keep telling you, our listing agreement is up. Today, I would like to extend it for three months. Can I email you the paperwork? Okay, can't answer that. All right, and this is going to be here. Let's see. Appointment, she's doing great. Boom, ba, ba, ba. Okay, my daughter is having a baby, a girl, no baseball. She'll play, she'll play this. I'm going to get her to play this. Sushi tonight. Okay, that's my wife. And Beyblades. All right, so let's uh, look this up real quick. Let's look this up real quick. Blah, blah, blah. Let's check the errors for the Cardinals defense. Uh, 19, 1983. Cardinals. Nineteen eighty three card. Remember, I'm playing this with my modifier and it's coming out exact with my modifier. So eighty cardinal uh MLB. MLB stats. Let's do teams instead of instead of cardinals. Let's do teams. And I can pick the cardinal or pick any other team I want. All right, so let's do that. Let's go to defense. Team fielding. Oop, there it is. Let's see uh, how many errors did they have. I'll, I'll calculate it in a second. Errors, okay. Errors right there. They should have a pretty good. Oh, all right. About the same as the Mets. They should be making about an error a game. So, so far, they played two games and didn't make an error. So, they should play. But, again, this is their field. So, each field you know, is different. So, that's why we got to play in all the fields to really make this a really good study, a really good uh, experiment. So you can't just play in one or two fields and then be like, oh, that's not – because every field allows a different number of range and error ratings, right? That's just the way it is in baseball. So that's it. So I'm going to print out – we're going to go to a new field and continue on the season. And uh, this is CP Cards and Dice. For Cards and Dice TV, we're doing a – what is it? Today, Wednesday or Thursday? Uh, what is it? What's it say there? Wednesday marathon, Wednesday payoff pitch marathon. We're going to get in 10 games, and I will be exhausted eventually. I'll take a little break, maybe 45 minutes, and come back. 
CP Cards and Dice. I will be back. Adios.